All right. I'm going to do this on tone paper. And I can set this up with my regular pencil to get things going here. Um, I could even do it on another paper and use my clear acrylic as a light table so that I can see through it. I can see that he's got a bit of an oval face. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit more so there's room for his hair. And that oval face, halfway in the center. So this is the face, about halfway. Let's see, I think that's halfway. A mm, little bit more than halfway. So halfway is about right here. Remember, halfway in the head is the eyes, but he's tipping his chin up, and we're just looking at the face. So if we went to the middle of the eye, that eye goes to the about a little over lower than the mouth and then clear down here to the neck. So it's kind of dividing this into thirds. And we have the neck down here. So that would be the neck. And the chin would be here. So that's kind of what we're doing there. Um, let's get these. Looks good. Let's see. We can take do this triangle we make with the eyes. Now you're probably going to be measuring just like we did with our other portraits, and that's great. I'm going to show you a little bit different method if you want to try it. This is just a little bit more of a sketch. Um, Mustache. As I do this, one of the things that I always tell you is to make sure that you are looking at it straight on, but unfortunately I can't do that. I've got to keep back a little bit for the camera. So I try to keep taking looks to see if it looks like I've got the right dimension. Cute little Albert. It's funny because without his hair, we don't easily tell who he is, do we? So his hair is going to be up here. And this is actually, instead of being like a really detailed drawing um, that I will show you in just a minute that I've done, a really detailed drawing um, of Albert, this is going to be a more of a sketch, kind of a, a fun caricature. I call them drawings when I spend like 10 hours, 20 hours on them. I call them sketches when I spend an hour or two. Okay, so I can see enough on that that I think that it's ready to go. Now, this is a drawing. Um, same kind of toned paper. The paper's a lot lighter, but you can still see the light on that. This is my father-in-law who just passed away. So this is um, in memoriam for, for him, for the family. But you can see that I've used colored pencil. I haven't used black, but I've used colored pencils and white to make it a soft tone, but it's more of a drawing instead of a quick sketch. And you'll see the difference here as we do this. Now, I don't wanna mix my whites and my blacks, so I'm going to start in with my black. And he's got these cute little crinkly eyes, but you really can't see a lot of them. Cute little bags under his eyes. Isn't it funny how when it's somebody else's facial features or body features, we think it's cute, but when it's ours, we don't like it. He's got 
kind of bushy eyebrows, if I remember right, but they don't necessarily show up in this photograph. Give myself a marker so I don't lose my spot here. Centered. Okay, now I'm not going to draw a line right here. There is no line there. I'm just going to work with the shadows that I see. The edge of that nose. That right here. So my original drawing was a little bit wide. Bring that in just a bit. On this one, I'm not going to use my smudgy. I am just going to put some value down. Got to make sure I line up that nose so those nostrils should be even. Okay, let's see. This cute little mustache. Shadow on white is going to be lighter than shadow on flesh, or shadow on tan, or shadow on brown, or shadow on black. So I don't want to make it dark dark right here because that's a white mustache it's got. Do some of that scumbling. Now this mouth is here, but I'm not going to draw a line along the top like I did along the bottom because that's where the mustache is. So I've got to make that. We're doing some negative drawing there where you draw what's behind the little object that you see. Clean the direction there. Let's get some shadow under that mustache. Okay. Shadow there. See, this space between the lip and the indent needs to be just a bit longer. It's really kind of short. Oh, Albert, hi. Aren't you a cutie? I like you. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if you talk to your drawings at home, but I guess I do. This is a medium tone, but I want it slightly darker right here. So I'm just going to add a couple of lines, and that changes that value just a little bit and brings it just a little bit darker. So I get more variation in my shadows. There is reflected light on his under here and reflected light there, but that will never be as bright as where the light hits it directly. And sometimes it's easy to forget that when you're working on drawings, but it should never be as bright as where the light hits it directly. Let's see. 
The nice thing about getting that little pencil drawing in is I can just kind of work my way down. I don't want to forget this part over here. I'm going to grab something to just rest it right there so that I can get this here without worrying about smudging that. Now I'm going to go really lightly, but the texture, I want to be the texture of that hair. And here I'm going to do the texture of the hair and the, the more solid line of the face. Just a little bit here. I don't want to do it all the way across. It won't look very natural if it's even. Like placing soldiers in a row, that doesn't work so much. Now I'm not going to do a background. I'm going to let this be my background. Get this done here. Now here you'll notice that his ear pole is across from his nose. And the base of his ear comes about right here. Looks like he's got long ears, kind of like the man I just showed you a minute ago. Vernal has nice long ears. Now this is in shadow, so I don't want to forget that. I'm going to put that little value on there. Because I don't want to forget what's in shadow and what's in light. All of this white hair over here is in shadow, so I can kind of indicate it. Sometimes it's better to indicate than to just outright till, right? You don't have to do all the work for the viewer. Leave some of it up to them. Now, because this is clothing, I want it to feel a little bit different than the... Um, than the face. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of scumbling. Now I'm kind of doing that for the hair. Let's go just in this direction. Let's see, we got to get You don't have to draw everything. Like I say, indicate. I think a lot of times we think we have to do everything for the viewer, but I like showing respect for the viewer and that I know they can figure things out without having to see it all. the good stuff. Now, this is going to be really fun to do, but I want to make sure I get this part. I know there's light hitting his nose. And then right here, I'm not going to draw a line straight that way because I want to work with the texture. Can you see I'm pressing a little bit differently on the sides, or on the, where I want it to be soft and where I want it to be a little bit harder. Right there. I'm going to put just that little bit of highlight there. Now, scumbling that mustache again. Now, I'm not going to put the white where the shadow is. If you add the white and the black, it's just going to make gray and I'm going to kind of be light and ease it in, but I don't want to like go over it really dark. I'm basically taking this value and lightening it slightly there, and then lightening it more here. Whereas with the charcoal, I darkened it slightly. So by doing these lines a little bit darker, 
the white of his mustache is going to capture your eye. I don't want to be as white with the with the highlight on the skin as I am with the highlight on the on the face. I left a gap there because he's got kind of a wrinkle. Now, whoops. Let's have some fun. Einstein. It's kind of like picking and choosing and with this old photograph I can't see exactly where the sun was shining. It's a little bit overexposed there but that's okay. Now you can see we've got a lot more to do if I left it just like that. He looks a little scraggly. But I don't want to fill everything in. I've got to really pick and choose what I'm filling in, don't I? But I can leave a spot like that and see if it works. And right here, I might leave a little spot. clump some of this hair up. I don't want to draw every single hair if we clump it up. So I'm going to make sure it's coming off his temples. Get that clump in there. I think he's a little bit short, but that's okay. Got some other really white hairs. Wanna let your eye kind of fill this in so he doesn't look like he has 14 hairs on his head. So by making these shapes instead of just lines, then that will do that.
same texture for the coat. I don't want to use the same texture for the hair, but hmm. slightly different direction. Okay, here's Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> 